Hey guys, my name is Deanna, welcome back to my channel, and today I am going to do my May slash June book haul. I'm actually really excited because I initially had seven books I was going to show you, but seven turned into 17, kind of because I guilt tripped my boyfriend into buying me some books today. I'm going to start off with the original seven books that I was going to do, although I have started two of them already, so I could tell you a bit more about it. But yeah, these books are from bookdepository.com and angusandrobinsons.com and that's basically an Australian bookstore and I kind of love it. Alright, so the first book I have that I've already started is Sick by Tom Levine and it is a zombie book. If you guys didn't know, I am absolutely in love with zombies. I love the concept and I love the idea and I just think it's really cool that people could come back and be practically immortal other than the fact they're already dead. But yeah, Sick is about a guy called Brian and basically him and his friends are stuck in a drama department trying to avoid getting bitten. And it's really weird because they have no contact with the outside world and they just they just have no idea what's going on. They have no news to listen to. They have no people to call. I'm looking forward to reading the end of this. I want to know what happens. I also want to point out, this is the lip tint I got from my Bella Box. It isn't exactly nude pink, but it is kind of a nice pink that I wouldn't usually suit. Just for the guys that wanted to see what it looked like on me, this is what it looks like. So the second book I have is The Winner's Curse by Marie Ratkowski and I have also read majority of this one. I actually really love the idea of this book as well. It's about a general's daughter who has a choice to either join the military or get married and she wants to do neither. She's in love with music and so she finds out a slave is also music orientated and she decides to buy him and then stuff happens. They get mixed emotions and basically she starts falling for the slave. That is mentioned in the blurb, so if I spoilt it for you, read the blurb and then, and then blame me for spoiling it. However, in this book I don't ship Kestrel and Aaron, I ship Kestrel and Ronan, and I think I call them Kestron. But yeah, hashtag Kestron. In my TMI video I did mention that there was a book in particular that I wanted to buy just because I had the second book, and that was How to Keep a Boy from Kissing You by Tara Eglinton. It did come like it's been bitten off, I don't know if you can see that. But it looks like someone's chewed it, and then the front cover looks weird because it doesn't look like it's exactly on. I don't want to touch it and break it, but yeah. Oh yeah, and going by the blurb, this story is about a girl called Aurora who is, I guess, a matchmaker, and then she kind of wants to match herself with a guy, and that's all I really know, so I'm really looking forward to reading this. The next book I got is kind of one that I really really wanted to start reading just because everyone on booktube has been raving about it and has been loving it and I just wanted to read it and get in the loop and that is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. This is just a Beauty and the Beast take I guess and I really want to read it because everyone is raving about it and I just want to get in the loop. When I was shopping on the Angus and Robinsons website I kind of needed to be over a certain amount to get free shipping so I just bought this book A because I've heard about it and I've wanted to read it but B because I wanted free shipping and so I got Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. The last two books I got from the book depository is Cinder by Marissa Meyer which also everyone has been raving about and Descend by Amanda Hocking which is the third novel in the Trill series so I've already got the first two so I just thought I'd do a marathon and just read all of them at one go. The next 10 books I want to show you are all from All Books for Less and yeah, let's go. I feel like it's a lucky dick, I haven't- oh my god. <laughs> the first book I pulled out of the magical bag of goody goodness is Tooth and Claw by Joe Walton and apparently it's the pride and prejudice of the dragon world. The next book is Shakespeare Undead by Laurie Handland, if that's how you say the name, I'm sorry. I've been seeing this book for a long time and I have wanted to pick it up and buy it but I just haven't had the money or it was too expensive so I thought I'd get it in this 10 for $30 and I kind of am really happy right now. I'm actually really pleased the next books are part of a series as books 1 and 2 because usually at all books for less they don't really have the first book in anything, it's always the second, third and so on and so forth, they never have the first book. And they are Deadlands and Death of a Saint by Lily Hearn, or Herney. So this book I saw initially as a hardcover, but the dust jacket was ripped and so I decided I'm not going to get that because I'm not going to tape it and have it look like crap. So I picked it up in paperback. And that is Vixen, which is the first book in the Flappers series and I think it's kind of cool just because 
it's a different era. The flappers are from the 1920s, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one. The next book I have is Smolder by Brenna Yovanoff, and I'm not going to lie, the only reason I have bought this book is because she had written another book I have, which is The Replacement, which I have yet to read. Alright, so before I mentioned that All Books for Less didn't sell the first book in the series, however Vixen, which is part of the Flappers series, is the first book to the series, and so is Unholy Ghosts by Stacia Kane, Stacia Kane? Not sure how to pronounce that. I did pick it up because the cover art was cool and when I read the blurb it kind of felt like a zombie book, although it might be ghosts because it says unholy ghosts, but I still like the idea of zombies. These next two books are the second and third books in the Hero Trilogy and that's Trying War and The Blood of Wolves by S.D. Gentle. And finally, the last book that I have is The Rivals by Daisy Whitney, and this is actually the second book in a series called Mockingjay, I think. Um, I'm not 100% sure what it's about, I know there's drugs involved and it's part of a school thing, but I have seen this cover before and I think people were thinking that this looked like Louis and Harry's love child baby thing if they were meshed together and they had a baby. But yeah, I'll be buying the first book to this series and hopefully I can do a review on it when I buy it and obviously after I read it. So they are all the books I've bought between May and June. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've read any of these books or want any of these books, let me know down in the comment section below because I want to know what you guys think. So thank you again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. And if you want to comment down below, comment down below because I love hearing your opinions. I love just chatting to anyone who sees this video because I want to thank you for guys watching this video. And... Yeah. Alright, thank you for watching this video.